Today we are going to review a Metabolomics Plus report. The Metabolomics Plus is a comprehensive nutritional assessment that was designed to be a minimally invasive at-home collection. Many patients may benefit from nutritional testing, including those with fatigue, inflammation, mitochondrial dysfunction, mood disorders, and many others. The pages seen here make up the core part of the profile and a urine sample is required. These pages include personalized nutrient recommendations for antioxidants, B vitamins, minerals, digestive support, and amino acids based on the measurement of organic acids, amino acids, and oxidative stress markers. We also offer add-on testing for blood spot fatty acids, urine elements, including toxic elements and minerals, and genomic SNPs, or single nucleotide polymorphisms, that may provide insight into underlying genetic reasons that may drive increased nutritional needs. The first two pages of the report provide normal, borderline, and high nutrient needs in green, yellow, and red. These recommendations are generated via an algorithm that takes into account the biomarkers on the test that relate to each of these individual nutrients. For example, if the biomarkers that relate to vitamin B6 are abnormal, that may generate either a borderline yellow or red high need for B6. This is a functional nutritional assessment based on a person's biochemistry. The second page is more specific with the dosage recommendations. Pages three through five are an expansion of the first two pages, providing additional information about each nutrient recommendation. The first bullet point lists the functions of the nutrients. The second bullet point lists causes of deficiency. The third bullet point discusses symptoms of deficiency, and the fourth bullet point lists food sources for that nutrient. These pages can be helpful for identifying why a patient might have a higher nutrient need. Page six of the report looks at broad functional categories giving insight into mitochondrial dysfunction, need for methylation, and toxic exposure. The markers that determine mitochondrial dysfunction will be discussed on the next page, the Krebs cycle page. The markers for methylation include some of the amino acids as well as B vitamin markers, and the toxic exposure imbalance is assessed by looking at some of the toxin and detoxification markers on the organic acids section of the report. The Krebs cycle pictured here provides a nice illustration of functional need for nutrients. The green circles around the page represent the nutrients that are required as cofactors at the various steps of the Krebs cycle. The red circles include toxic heavy metals that result in a metabolic block of enzymes and ultimately Krebs cycle impairment. This page shows us how well a patient is utilizing fats, carbs, and proteins to generate energy in the form of ATP. Page eight lists out the organic acids in functional categories, including malabsorption dysbiosis markers, cellular energy, and mitochondrial metabolites that we just reviewed on the previous Krebs cycle page, neurotransmitter metabolites, vitamin markers, toxin and detoxification markers, and tyrosine metabolites. If these markers are outside of range, they will be factored into the algorithm that makes specific nutrient determinations. On page nine, we measure amino acids. The left side of the page tells us the levels of amino acids, whereas the right side of the page shows us amino acid intermediates and tells us more about vitamin and mineral cofactor needs. The dietary peptide markers at the bottom right may indicate incomplete protein breakdown. The final page of the main report shows us two oxidative damage markers. When elevated, it is important to determine sources of oxidative stress and minimize if possible, while mitigating the damaging effects with antioxidant support. As mentioned earlier, we do offer add-on testing to the Metabolomics Plus.
The blood spot fatty acids are obtained via a finger stick, which is sometimes more convenient for patients who do not want a venipuncture or blood draw. The blood spot test looks at fatty acids in whole blood versus the red blood cells that we measure on the NutriVal profile. Our lab saw a great correlation between these two sample types, and the approximate amount of time both sample types represent is up to 90 to 120 days, which is the life cycle of a red blood cell. The fatty acids are especially useful for looking at fatty acid composition of the diet, and in particular, the anti-inflammatory fats versus pro-inflammatory fats. Just like the other biochemical pathways described earlier, Enzymes involved in fatty acid metabolism also require vitamins and minerals as cofactors, and those can be seen on page 12 under the names of the enzymes in the middle of the page. The clinician can choose to add on urine element testing. The comprehensive urine element profile includes 20 toxic elements and 15 nutrient elements. If the clinician is interested in the toxic elements only, that profile is called the toxic element clearance profile pictured on the right. Measuring elements in the urine tells us about exposure to these elements, not necessarily body burden. Urine as a sample type represents approximately the previous 24 to 48 hours of exposure. We also offer add-on genomic SNP testing. APOE tells us about cholesterol regulation, MTHFR and COMT about methylation difficulties, and TNF-alpha or tumor necrosis factor alpha about tendency towards inflammation and oxidative stress. Here's a chart summarizing the differences between the NutriVal, which is our most comprehensive nutritional assessment, and the Metabolomics Plus, an alternative to the NutriVal that can be collected entirely from home. The NutriVal requires both a urine sample and a blood draw. The baseline test of the Metabolomics test requires a urine sample only. If the add-on tests are considered for the Metabolomics Plus, then a finger stick would be required for the fatty acids. Both tests offer genomic SNP testing, which is a buckle or cheek swab. The add-on tests are in the gray shaded area. The sample types are listed here, followed by the approximate time frame that the sample represents. For example, amino acids assessed in the urine represent approximately the previous 24 to 48 hours of intake, whereas amino acids measured in plasma tell us about the patient's intake over the previous three weeks. Plasma is more representative of a steady state. You can visit our website for educational resources about the Metabolomics Plus test. The MAP support guide gives detailed information on each of the organic acids we measure. As mentioned, the NutriVal is our most comprehensive nutritional assessment, and our interpretive guide for that test covers the majority of the biomarkers that are measured on the Metabolomics Plus test. LearnGDX has videos in Nutrition University on interpreting the various parts of the NutriVal test that overlap with the Metabolomics Plus test. LiveGDX is our monthly webinar series, and you can visit the archives to search for nutrition-related topics. The Lab Report podcast features Drs. Michael Chapman and Patty Devers discussing many topics related to nutrition. The test prep page provides information on various medications that patients take and the impact they might have on the metabolomics biomarkers. And finally, we have a whole team of medical education specialists here who are available to consult on patient test results. You can schedule a consultation online or by calling client services. Thank you all for joining today to learn more about the Metabolomics Plus.